You guys, we slid down a water slide. And now we're literally in Sri Lanka. Crazy. It's definitely bucket list. At Bite of Cocoa, we get a lot of questions about where our coconut water comes from and how it's made. But we're not your typical beverage company, so a typical educational video was out of the question. The marketing team came up with this crazy idea. What better way to give people a closer look at our production process than through the eyes of our biggest fans? So we took our giant three-story slip and slide, plus tons of Vita Coco coconut water, to college campuses across the country to find three dedicated, hardworking, and of course, energetic students to join our team on this adventure. My name is Darnell McAlpin. Oh, my name is Justin Sullivan. My name is Sierra Castro. <laughs> Students flew to our coconut headquarters in New York City, where they got a taste of our serious and <laughs> fast-paced office culture. Juggling coconuts was a must. Then it was time to head to Sri Lanka and get a first-hand look at where our coconuts come from. We're running to the aquarium to get to, get to Sri Lanka. We finally made it. Once we landed in Sri Lanka, we took the students to one of our coconut farms so that they could learn more about how we care for our trees and to meet some of the awesome farmers that help manage our production. <laughs> What's up? We just got done at a coconut plantation. It was so much fun. We did so many things. We planted our very own coconut tree. It was super cool planting my own seedling, just seeing where the coconut water we drink actually comes from from start to finish. We have big plans for you. We learned how to climb a coconut tree. Way harder than it looks. Way harder than it looks. Climbing a coconut tree is so much harder than it looks. I have so much respect for the people that do it on a daily basis. I just planted a coconut Success. tree, gonna come back for it in 10 years. Visiting the model farms was amazing. It was so cool to see how Vita Coco has such a huge impact on the agricultural community here in Sri Lanka. And I, I really had no clue that like, coconuts were so versatile that you can use it for so many things. It's really amazing. Seeing how people on the model farm can make such simple and delicious food in such an easy way just really gives me perspective on the things that we eat in the United States and how they're made. Are you born to Homo Day? Yes! <laughs> this is the way. Oh, okay. Are you born? Are you born? You make it look so easy. Yeah, no, I'm not cracking I'm open. Open. I need all these fingers for texting. You... Tastes oh. literally just like Vita Coco. <laughs> the students got a closer look at how we package our delicious coconut water. From planting the seedlings to picking the coconuts to shipping it around the world. It's crazy that yesterday we were just on the coconut farm and now we're sending them in packages. But we knew it wouldn't be a true Vita Coco experience if they didn't have some fun along the way. It's gonna be an adventure. to the safari. We're going right there. So in the end, Sierra, Justin, and Darnell got to see how Vita Coco coconut water is made, all the way from tree to Tetra Pak. Three students, two stops, one incredible trip. <laughs>